Hey guys, this is XXX199, and today I'm going to be doing a review on my custom Halo Reach Noble team. And yes, this is them right in front of the camera. Awesomeness. Little statue thing. Totally pro. I know. They're awesome. Um. One thing is, they are made obviously using the brick forge for an armor, and um, yeah. So uh, and yes, Emil has been heavily updated, like heavily updated, ever since. But uh, that's the last time I tried. But yeah, let's get started. So first, I'm gonna start off with Noble One Carter. Very nice detail on him. It's not defocusing or anything. No, it defocused. My fingers are shiny. I'm joking. But whatever. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't have any Brick Forge Spartan armor, I have something to tell you about these visors. They use a little trick to put them in. They don't use little pins on the side. They put the visor like about the same size as the little cutout thing that the helmet has. And what they do is they make like this little pin right at the top of the helmet there. I think you can see that right there. It's really cool. And then when you put the visor in, that little pin holds it there. It's actually very cool. But and it is a little ammo clip thing there. The red stripes there. Lots of battle damage. I love battle damage. Uh, two little red fillings there. And uh, black detail. And then this very pro uh, Halo Assault Rifle and two very pro shoulder pads. Looks very awesome. Next is number two, Cat. Really like the way she turned out. Same little visor trick that Brick Ford uses. Um, very two pu like, very puny shoulder pads. Custom Magnum. Um, I will be up Updating all these with brick arms weapons very soon. And probably you're wondering what happened to my finger. I cut the finger. Okay? I, I cut it. By accident. I didn't cut it on purpose, but uh, whatever. Um, very nice detail on the helmet. Two little white details there. White details on the top. Lots of battle damage on her helmet. Very like the way she turned out as well. She's pro. Um, next is number three. John. Maybe June, I'm not sure. Uh, lots of battle damage as well. No battle damage on the back of the armor. I don't know why I didn't put any. Uh, custom Barrett 50 Cal or Halo Sniper. Uh, puny shoulder pad and uh, shoulder pad with ammo clip. Um, same visor trick. Obviously, different visor. Very nice. I really like the way he turned out as well. Next, Noble 4, the heavily updated Emil. Um, this time I decided to custom paint that skull. Then we have the awesome floodlight and knife. The armor is not Rick Forge. Two awesome shoulder, well, one awesome shoulder pad. About 11, 11 awesome shotgun shells for his custom shotgun. Very nice custom one. And then he's got that little breathing tape there. Looks very cool. And he has a little ammo clip on his leg there. Also very cool. And yes, he will be updated with brick arms very soon. And then awesome leg detailing. So yeah, that's a meal. Next is Noble 5, George. Or some people like to call him Jorge. That's including Michael and Jeff. But, uh, I glued this little thing to the top there. It's very cool. I didn't actually glue it because the paint I use is actually glue itself. It's, it's really cool. So, um, got that couple little orange spots right there on the armor. I didn't make the whole thing of armor orange because that would look kind of stupid. Then we got that little medical tube thing that he has in his, uh, armor. And then two grenader shoulder pads. Very nice. And the orangish colored visor. Also very nice. Battle damage. Lots and lots of battle damage. 
I'm a big fan of Battle Image. Even though I don't really do it with any of my clone customs, I'm a big fan of Battle Image. And there, uh, and yes, custom made weapon as well. All weapons are custom made, not like using Brick Forge weapons or anything like that. They're got all custom made weapons, guys. And next, well, final is Noble Six. It's my version. Same little visor, visor trick. A custom visor by me. Um, we have like this cool sideways T marking on his shoulder pad. Lots of battle damage. Lots. Look closely, right underneath the visor, you can see a bit of battle damage there. Very cool. Battle damage on the armor. Uh, custom hill assault rifle and ammo clip on the shoulder. Looks very nice. Bit of reddish battle damage on the uh, leg. Looks very nice as well. And I really like the way he turned out. He's also one of my favorites out of all the Noble team. Really, I'm just saying right now that Carter is my favorite. Just have to say that my Carter turned out the best out of the entire Noble team. And uh, if you're wondering, I will be making. Well, getting, buying a display case for the Noble Team. Buying a display case of that size. We'll go around the, um, I'll just put some tape on the bottom. And uh, it would look very nice. And uh, just to give you one last view of them on the statue. Very nice. And, um, Every once in a while, you will see updates on them, so expect those every once in a while. And uh, yeah, this has been XXX Look at Boy 99. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, expect me to probably be making the ODSTs, like the Brick Forge ODSTs, because I really actually do feel like making them, because uh, they'd be cool. So yeah, um, expect those sometime in a couple months maybe if i decide to make them and uh yeah please rate comment subscribe and bye